And now for the man voted most likely to burn rubber in a drive through All right, so I have been sitting in the dark for 20 minutes. My eyes are completely adjusted. And you know what? I'm actually surprised at how well I can see right now. With nary a trip nor a stumble, Tory makes his way to the cart. The flag drops, and he's off to a start that's more like a stop. That was so hard. I couldn't see anything. I had to get like six feet away from the sun before I could even tell which way to go. Jesse, of course, had the same problem. But it's what happens next that shocks the fans. The lethal lack of light has turned Tory timid. Can we just fast forward this? Not, not while he's doing it. <laughs> You cannot see anything. I mean, you see shapes here and there, but you have no idea. You're gonna crash into something at any moment. The fact that I didn't hit the moose or the log, I think I just got lucky. Tori was far and away the slowest. Then again, he's the only one who didn't crash or drive straight to the cops. I'm the only one that made the delivery, but I mean, look how long it took me. With a lap that was four times longer than his effort with headlights, this myth is veering off course. Then Jesse decides to steer straight for the cliff. And we're missing one huge thing here. What's that? What happens when a car comes in oncoming direction and shines our headlights right in our face? You know, that's a good point. I mean, that would totally ruin your night vision. It sure would. And in the interest of proper procedure, we're about to put that to the test. Grant's stand-in for an oncoming car takes him back to his robot roots. It's a combat robot that I built. I mount a pair of headlights to it, and we should be able to remotely turn them on as well as drive around in the oncoming lane of traffic. And then we'll finally find out the effect that headlights have on your eyes. Good boy. Let's go blind some drivers. Actually, just one driver. Tori volunteers to be the deer in the headlights. Hey there, little buddy. What's your name? Say hello to Blinky. Oh, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Turning on the house lights would destroy Tori's night vision by bleaching the rhodopsin pigment. So Jesse helps out with a flashlight. Here we are. Okay. The obstacles are reset, and Grant puts Blinky behind the wall at the first turn. This lap could be all over in a flash. There goes Tori. And here comes the other guy. <laughs> Dude, that was so crazy. <laughs> that sucked. All of a sudden, the lights went on, and it was like an instant black wall with two little headlights. As soon as a car was coming towards you with the headlights on, you would be completely blinded, and you would crash. Done for. So technically, this myth is busted. They simply couldn't drive fast enough with any control. But the concept still has a chance, assuming the crims have access to some high-tech headwear. All right, so it looks like the naked eye just isn't up to their mans of this smuggling mission, which means it's time to deploy some technology. Check this out, night vision goggles. <laughs> That's right. These babies are state-of-the-art third generation from B.E. Myers. They take all the available light and amplify it into an image we can see. Now this is the kind of technology I've been talking about. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a run in the dark using nothing but these and see how I do. Okay, but this time no lollygagging around the track at a snail's pace. Let's make it realistic. I'll be chasing after you like I'm the cop. What? Lollygagging? Yes, lollygagging. These night vision goggles are legal in the U.S., but not in Canada. Still, I don't suppose that would deter a depraved syrup smuggler. All right, now how are we gonna determine that I've been caught? Well, she's gonna try and ram you, hit your bumper, turn your car, do whatever it takes to stop you. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay, lights out. So can technology work where the human eye fails? Tori's first few laps are fast and bouncy. Seeing is not a problem. Being able to judge 
how far you are from objects or seeing around you, that is the problem. I mean, it is truly tunnel vision. You have no depth of field, you have no peripheral vision. I mean, I must have banged into the wall, you know, half a dozen times. Now, Officer Jesse gives chase, and you get the feeling it won't be long before justice catches up with our scoundrel. And then you have the, the cop chasing you, and you know, that's a whole new game where it's like now you have the stress of somebody catching you and you're having to react quickly. <laughs> but what's the ultimate verdict? I mean, you can drive with the night vision goggles, but as soon as you started chasing me, I had to speed up and my reaction time had to speed up. And having tunnel vision, basically, I totally misjudged that last turn. It crashed in the wall, and that's when you smacked into me and stopped me. <laughs> so driving with night vision goggles might help a little, but less than we'd hoped. The myth is first tested, totally busted. And is it dangerous? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely.